uh, hi everyone welcome to the, welcome to this session so today we will solve this interview question okay so in this problem we have to find uh, what is the time constant uh, of the circuit okay and one thing you should know like for a single pole system for a single pole system the inverse like time constant tau is the inverse of the pole right inverse of the pole so in this problem uh, we can see that there is a only one capacitor right only one cap so the order of the circuit is one okay so this is a single order like first order circuit or one pole system right on pole system so for uh, we know the, for first order circuit what we need to know for like to to find the pole location or the time constant we need to find the equivalent equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitance right and the time constant will be like equivalent resistance let's say r equivalent and c equivalent right this is the time constant and pole location is let's say omega p1 will be 1 over r equivalent and c equivalent right we know that so we know that uh, and first case like first case let's take this op amp is ideal okay ideal op amp okay so the gain a will be infinite right and we can see that the feedback here is negative we can directly say that so if this is v in so this will be v in as well right due to the virtual virtual short concept right virtual short concept so if this is v in and we know we we know that to find the equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitance we need to deactivate deactivate all the independent sources right independent sources okay so if this is a voltage input independent input so this to be grounded right and so if this is grounded so this voltage will be grounded as well like zero voltage right so now we can see that there is only one capacitor capacitor right so the c equivalent is c itself right but if this is grounded and this node is also grounded and this node is grounded so the capacitor actually out of the picture right because this is short circuit so here we have only one capacitor and this node is grounded so what will be the equivalent resistance here like across the across the r so the r equivalent will be infinity here right because there is no resistance right so this this is this is the open part open path right so we know that the open open path has a, a resistance of infinite right so what will be the time constant so we know we can directly write that the time constant tau will be c into infinite so this will be nothing but infinite as well okay so now like this is for ideal case right the gain the gain was infinite but if there is a limited gain let's say the gain is a okay gain equal to a and this is finite okay this is a finite value so how to find the uh, like pole location or the time constant so we will like we will solve the circuit okay so let's solve it so our circuit is here like this plus minus and this is resistance capacitance and v out right and this is a so so this this is our circuit so what we can do is like these two nodes are not equal in this case right because this is a finite gate so what we can write so this is our v out right and if we consider this this branch so no current can go up to the like op amp terminal right so the v minus let's say this is v minus v minus equal to the voltage across the resistance we can write that v minus will be so this is a basically differentiator circuit right we know that so if we write the equation this will be nothing but uh, let's say okay let's do in frequency domain so this will be nothing but uh, v minus will be uh, v not uh, 
okay okay let let be that so this will be uh, one over sc right impedance so this will be nothing but uh, v minus will be okay let's say this is r by on uh, r plus on over sc right so if we solve this this will be uh, this will be uh, v naught into src divided by on plus src right so this is our the potential at this negative terminal of this op amp so and and for for op amp we know that v out is nothing but gain times the v positive and minus v negative so we will put that so this will be nothing v out into v v not will be a times so v plus is nothing but our v in so this will be v in minus so this will be our v not src divided by 1 plus src right now if we solve further so we will get uh, so 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 okay let me do here so we can take v1 plus src by 1 plus src equals uh, okay this will be a times so this will be a times v in right now if we solve for that okay So if we solve for that, so there was V not on on plus A time SRC by on plus SRC, right? Times A times V in. So we have uh, V not over V in S is nothing but uh, A times on plus A times SRC by on plus s r c right now so so we can further okay so for pole location this part will be zero right to find pole this part will be zero so we have uh, a time s r c by on plus s r c plus one will be zero so this will be a times s r c equals minus on minus src right so uh, src on a plus one will be minus one right and we have s one so one minus one by src okay times a plus one right so we have the pole location at minus 1 over rc a plus 1 right so we can directly see that the if we like in the ideal case in the ideal case the time constant was infinite right so what will be the pole location pole location was at zero zero radian per second okay in previous case so if we if we uh, like if we put a a equals infinity so this will give the same value as we calculate previously so this will be again omega p will be zero so this expression is correct okay this is our correct expression if we put a equals infinite so it will meet our previous condition that was omega p will be at zero radian per second and the time constant will be infinite so we can see that for ideal case the uh, pole location was at zero frequency but for uh, like for practical case for practical case let's say omega p on the pole location is inversely proportional to the gain of the op amp okay so we can see that now now try to interpret in like time domain okay why the time constant is infinity here okay so if this is a constant let's say like uh, on ut okay v in is on ut so this voltage will uh, uh, like directly appear in this node so this will be on ut as well like we are taking the ideal case okay a is infinite here 
तो ये कांस्टेंट का रेट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस ब्रांच लेट्स से आई आर तो आई आर इज ए कांस्टेंट पोटेंशियल बिकॉज़ दिस इज ए कांस्टेंट वोल्टेज एंड दिस इज ए कांस्टेंट रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो नो करंट कैन गो टू दिस ब्रांच ओके सो ऑल ऑफ द करंट हैज टू फ्लो थ्रू दिस कैपेसिटर राइट सो ये कांस्टेंट का रेट इज चार्जिंग द कैपेसिटर सो व्हाट विल बी द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर वी विल बी नथिंग बट लेट्स से आई आर टाइम्स सी इनटू टी राइट सो वी कैन सी दैट like this is this this not reach to the steady state right because uh, like when the time increases the voltage across the capacitor is ramping right so this never stay uh, like reach the steady state so the time constant is infinite so we can think in this way as well okay so this is a very good question so you can solve in this way so thank you everyone if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and please give your valuable feedback thank you